Hello, your favorite mod in DLC CC is here again. Week 5 against Nico and the Gliscor, the Gliscor Gales. Okay, let's look at their team here. Uh, long doc. So, they've got, again, we're facing off another Ogre Pond. This is the menacing Hearth Flame. When it Terra's, and it surely is to Terra, it'll get that attack boost. We have Mega Latias, very strong, very bulky Pokemon. Iron Bundle, Iron Bundle is terrifying. Uh, I suspect that he will, that our opponent Nico will probably run Booster Energy. So, fortunately, our team is built with the perfect counter, Frost Moth. I'm thinking Assault Vest. If we bring an Assault Vest, Frost Moth, Iron Bundle really can't do anything to it and then we'll have a wasted booster energy and then we're good to go for the rest of the game king gambit just like the previous week we're afraid of its sucker punch so we're gonna have to take some countermeasures to this kong kelder very strong it's also his terra captain terra steel or terra flying i think it was thunder Therian, and then the rest of his pokemon and now i know Nico fairly well as a battler. He's very much with his strong core and then generally doesn't use the rest of his Pokemon. The rest of his Pokemon include Pezendipity, very bulky and annoying, but I don't suspect it to come. Incineroar, Pukumuku, Ariados, and Greedon. Knowing Nico, again, he really likes those really strong Pokemon that pop out at you, like the first six that we saw. I'm Fairly confident he won't bring the last five, so I think this week's prep will be pretty simple. Looking at their speeds, okay, he's very fast. Again, Iron Bundle is annoying. I'll probably run Scarf Iron Boulder again as a result. None of his six Pokemon really love Mighty Cleave outside of Boulder, sorry, uh, King Gambit and Kong Kelder. Fortunately, Ogre, or Iron Bundle, Iron boulder can hit those two with other moves so we'll take a look and see what we do about those but frost moth is a must bring it, it shuts down that bundle and we need that so let's take a look at his chart you'll see he's got some weaknesses here uh, in terms of rock types again it's just the two that we mentioned earlier they probably don't want to switch in on a boulder unless he knows i'm scarfed in the mighty cleave so we've got a pretty good matchup here, I believe. Again, speed tiers. Bundle's the thing where you got to watch out for, but thanks to Frostmon, I'm not too concerned about that. So let's take a look at what we've brought. So I'm bringing Granville. Granville, you'll see I have the Babiri Berry. Again, steel counter. Why am I doing this? This, I believe, will be my King Gambit solution. I know, King Gambit, you don't think. Very tight count, but let's take a look. Okay. If he's running speed, and I don't think he would, close combat, one hit KO, Iron Head doing barely nothing. Okay, King Gambit with. Okay, so King Gambit, if he's got full HP, I'm not guaranteeing a KO here. However, I will still take this damage because. This will be on a sliver of health. Any attack can take him out from here. I'm good with that. And this is assuming full bulk, no chip damage, which probably will happen during the game. So, perfect King Gambit counter. We have um, our Needle King. I really want that chip damage so that I can get key KOs. So, Stealth Rock is here. I've got the Sash to secure it. I'll probably lead with this as a result. I don't really need to outspeed anything. His main job is rocks. Once the rocks are up, I'll take any damage on anything. I'll take it. I've got the sucker punch here in case he brings in something fast to KO me. Take some chip off that. It, his goal, just chip. I don't care about anything else. Like I promised, we have our Frost Moth. Frost Moth is our counter to Iron Bundle. Let's waste that booster energy. Here's the Assault Vest. This is my Terra Captain. I've got an Electric type here, just in case I want to switch the type up. We've got the Terra Blast, three attacks. Really simple. Not a lot of thought put here. Again, switch into special attackers, get chip off of stuff, switch out if I have to. This is my key. I was thinking Scarf, I guess... 
because Iron Bundle's booster energy will be wasted easily, we're going to run Focus Sash. Focus Sash lets me survive Sucker Punch. It, that's really the thinking here. Um, free hit on anything. Uh, that's really it. I just want the free hit on anything. Free hit on Ogre Pond. Free hit on Bundle. Free hit on literally any of the six Pokemon that he's bringing. Uh, I want to take out the Thunderous. If he's Scarf, still free hit next to the Sash. I don't think he'll bring Rocks because his only Rock setter is King Gambit. And King Gambit really doesn't want to run Rocks. So I'm not worried about it. The Sash will be intact. I'll save this for if I need to get out of trouble. If not, free hits everywhere. Mega Gyarados, if I get the chance to Dragon Dance, great. If not, just get damage off. As much chip as possible. The key here is Iron Boulder. Iron Boulder is the one that wants to take out every Pokemon. After the booster energy, the only thing we have to concern ourselves with is Sucker Punch. And if I have my Sash up, it doesn't matter. And Scarfers. Again, this is another... Just chip everything. I've got Substitute here to counter the Sucker Punch. Again, you can see I'm very scared of the Sucker Punches. But if I can get the Substitute up, Sucker Punch doesn't matter again. So there wasn't a lot of thinking here it, when teams. And the reason why I'm only concentrating on the six is I watched Nico's five, four previous matches. He has essentially brought the same six Pokemon every week, minus twice. So like he's only changed it up twice and they didn't go very well. I'm banking on Nico bringing all six. Had he, had I prepped for his whole team, the prep here would look really different and much more difficult but given the opponent's previous history I'm banking on six and this is why um, prep this week didn't take very long so let's see how this ended up for us it could go really poorly so you're gonna notice six Pokemon this very six I mentioned these this is this is Nico and he finds his strongest core and he sticks with it sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't let's see how it plays out here so we want those rocks up. Oh, no, don't want the sound on. So we got those rocks up. What is happening? Oh, jeez. Okay. Let's refresh this page. All right, play with the sound off. Okay. Thunderous, Neo King. Again, I just want those rocks up, whatever. Take the psychic, doesn't matter got rocks up I got chip on anything that comes in the sucker punch for extra chip perfect he's done his job I don't need him anymore iron boulder we know we've got the sash if he's scarf it doesn't matter okay mighty cleave one of his few answers to mighty cleave I don't want to take any damage right now from mock punch I could probably KO with Zen headbutt but I don't want the sash broken in so I'm gonna switch out okay gramble Ramble comes in, he actually switches the King Gambit, which is great because this is what I wanted originally. They're perfect. This is what we wanted. The Iron Head will do nothing. Perfect. Like, it, this could not have gone better. Let's just get Chip off of whatever he brings in. Gone. A potential Scarfer gone. This is good news. You've already done more work than I needed you to. Let's, we're just going to let him go down now. So now we got Palkia. Why do I bring in Palkia? This is a Mega. So his speed is at, at most 350. I can outspeed that. He's got no fairy types. There's no reason not to just click Spatial Rent. Either take this out, ship something else. For some reason I went with the Substitute. That's a misplay. We ended up getting the damage anyways. He brings this in. He's got the booster energy. I'm just going to put in the counter. He can't touch Frostmoth. As you can see, no damage is taken. He's wasted his booster energy. We're just going to take Chip now. It's a good Chip. This thing's almost gone. The Mock Punch doesn't hurt Gyarados. I'm not going to Mega Evolve because I don't want the Mock Punch to become super effective. Plus, we could get a Moxie boost. So we got a Moxie boost here. 
iron bundle. Probably switch it out. See, now this isn't so good for Frost Maw. I don't really have a switch in for this Ogre Pond here, so I essentially have to let something go. Now, given that I've got a Sash, and this thing can... Yeah, I've got a Sash. I want to keep this for the King Gambit just in case, and possibly this. My Frost Moth can't really beat King Gambit because I'm slow. I can't really beat Ogre Pawn alone, so I'm just going to let it go down. I'll probably tear it because I can't tear my other Pokemon anyways. So Ivy Sudgel, if it doesn't KO, great. If it does, oh well. He went for knockoff for whatever reason. We'll take it. We got some more chip. We're going to go down now. Now we're just going to throw in something that can deal with it. Iron Boulder's faster. Mighty Cleave, done. He has no switch ins to that either. I really can't afford the Sash to be broken just yet because this is faster than all my Pokemon. Freeze Dry beats this most likely after I Mega it. Freeze Dry definitely beats Palkia, uh, given that it's times four effective. So I have to switch here. I don't think he can deal with Palkia in one hit. Okay, so he's Swords Dancing. That's a big problem. Sucker Punch KOs. I'm just going to go for the save play. Substitute, hopefully he clicks Sucker Punch. If not, I'm going to click it again. Okay, he went for the obvious play. Good. Substitute. We have secured the win here. Sucker Punch beats that down. He's going to KO Palkia. I'm going to have to just accept that. And then we'll bring in our Sash to finish the game. Didn't even need the Sash. Look at the survival. That's fantastic. And so again, really tight game. Uh, had I wasted that Sash earlier, we could have been in big trouble. Really played around the Iron Boulder. Iron Boulder was key. Gyarados didn't quite do what we were hoping it to. But it got its KO. It dealt with the Mach Punch, so that's decent. Another one bites the dust. We're now 5-0. and We'll come back for week 6 uh, next week. Hopefully you guys will tune in.